Hey. Hey, now, why don't you look where you're going? Oh, sorry, I didn't see you. Well, you don't sound half sorry to me. Look, I said I was sorry. Why don't we leave it at that? If you don't mind, we'll call the shots. Now, suppose you use the other side of the street. Joe! Joe, come here! Your daddy's calling you, little boy. <laughs> Right, I'll take you one at a time. Go! What's the matter, Joe? Didn't you hear me calling you? <laughs> you see what they were trying to do? Yes, I saw what they were trying to do. I also saw the half dozen men across the street ready to back them up. Yeah, well, I don't care how many there are. Look, what's got into this town? You can't walk down the street anymore. We're just gonna stand by and let them get away with it. Now, look. Do you think that walking into a trap they deliberately set for you and getting your head broken is going to stop them? Now, get along to Mr. Cameron's store and help Horst load the supplies. I'll round up Adam and join you. Hi, Cameron, what's your answer? You know my answer. I won't back down for you or Sam Bryant or any of the gang. Well, now, that's just plum too bad. No. you say a thing like that? Hey, Sheriff, what kind of town you running here? Gonna stand there and let that fella hold a gun on me? Sheriff, he killed my husband. Well, Miss Cameron, you don't mean that. You killed him. Oh, Miss Cameron, that's a terrible thing to say. Why, well, I got some friends that'd be downright upset to hear you say a thing like that. We know who your friends are. Why don't you leave her alone? Here, let me handle this. Back, come on. I don't know what makes her say a terrible thing like that. You killed him, Perkins, and you know it. I'll take care of this card, right? All right, Perkins, let's go. I'm locking you up. All right, Sheriff. If that's what you think you ought to do. Nice, neat place you got here, Sheriff. Real nice. Yes, sir, you keep it up real nice. <laughs> you know the way, Perkins. Anything you say, Sheriff. Anything you say. I'm there, Perkins. Waste of time you locking me in here. You know that, don't you? But if that's the way you want to do business. <laughs> Oh, 
Howdy, Sheriff. Hey, tell me you got one of my boys in here. How much is bail gonna run? Circuit judge is in town, Brian. I ain't setting no bail. That's a judge's job. Well, I suppose the judge has got to earn his money, too. That you, Sam? Sure is, Farmer. They treating you good? Just fine, Sam. Just fine as can be. They don't treat you right. You just let your old friend Sam Bryant know, yeah? <laughs> Don't tell me to let Perkins go already. No, they ain't. But it might be a real good idea. Not this time, Bryant. Judge Scribner's in town. He says he'll hold a hearing on Farmer Perkins down at town hall just as soon as he can get there. You know something? I sure hate to see outsiders like the judge get mixed up in our private affairs. I think outsiders ought to tend their own business. And that goes for you Cartwrights, too. Say later, Sheriff. Gentlemen. Perkins get a fair hearing now, don't you? Well, All right, now sit down, everybody. Go right ahead, Your Honor. Are the witnesses present? Two of them are right here, Your Honor. Your Honor, before you start, I think you should know these two didn't see a thing. Are you acting as lawyer for Mr. Perkins? Well, Your Honor, I'm acting like just what I am. Farmer Perkins' friend. <laughs> I'll not have any more of these outbursts. All right, Mrs. Cameron. Is Mrs. Cameron present in the court? Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Doctor? Mrs. Cameron is in no condition to testify at the present time. Yes, but she was an eyewitness to the alleged crime. Do you measure emotions by the clock, Your Honor? This woman just saw her husband shot down in cold blood. Doctor, you please resist passing judgment. I ask you if Mrs. Cameron is present in this court. No, she is not. She's in my office, a very sick woman. May I ask the nature of her illness? You certainly may. It's the same sickness that afflicts this entire town. Fear! <laughs> Can we now hear from the other witnesses? Well, sure, we're all witnesses, everyone here. Hey, that's right. Hey, I'll be witness for you any time, Farmer. Hard out your yard, Your Honor. These here are my character witnesses. Best money can buy. <laughs> I'll not have a travesty made of my court. <laughs> I'll testify, Your Honor. My brother and I were outside of Cameron's store when we heard the shot. We ran in and found Farmer Perkins. Mr. Cameron was on the floor dead and his wife was standing over him. That's exactly the way it happened. But you did not see the actual shooting. No, Your Honor, we did not. All right, Mr. Perkins. Well, now, Your Honor, my good friends here, the Cartwright boys, They've already said all I know. It was the same thing with me, exactly. I heard a shot. I ran in, and that was poor Mr. Cameron. And that right pretty wife of his. Don't suppose she shot him, do you? Hey, not shot, Mr. Carter. She must have done it. Are there any other eyewitnesses to the alleged shooting? I mean, other than Mrs. Cameron. Judge. You know as well as I do what kind of man Farmer Perkins is. At this moment, Mr. Perkins' character is not on trial. 
Due to the failure of our only eyewitness to appear, I must adjourn this hearing. <laughs> only until Mrs. Cameron is available to testify. Meanwhile, the suspect is to remain in the custody of the sheriff. Hey, now what's he talking about? Just a minute. He's subject to bail, isn't he? I mean, he hasn't been charged with anything yet. I've already drawn up the paper, Your Honor. <laughs> All right, Ben. You saw it. All legal, right down the line. I could have told you that it happened. Well, I just don't know what's gotten into the people of this town. They're just going to stand by and watch them get away with a cold-blooded murder, because that's all it is, a cold-blooded murder. Oh, I'm not sure the people of this town care one way or the other. Now, what you're saying is that this case is closed. Is that it? Well, you saw what happened. I arrested Perkins, I had a hearing, and he's out there walking around. Look, Sheriff, if you want to do something, why don't you start by arresting Sam Bryant? He's the head man. On what charge, son? Associating with bad company? Keeping order in the mines? That's what he was hired for, that's what him and his men do. Now, it's gone a lot further than that, Sheriff. They've taken over the whole town. So they have. We well, could have stopped it before it went that far. By myself, with no deputies, not a soul to back me up. What is it you expect me to do? Well, I don't know what to expect of you, but I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get Beth Cameron to testify. And if she does, the judge is going to reopen the hearing and set a trial immediately. And if that's done, will you rearrest Farmer Perkins? I'm a practical man, Ben. And a sociable one. I don't like taking chances on my life. But if I'm going to, I won't come on him. Now, I got the right to swear in deputies. And deputies is what I want before I go after Farmer Perkins again. Now, you made the complaint, Ben. Now, I've offered the same chance to half the people in this town. Cameron will testify. There was a hearing a while ago. You were needed at that hearing. You weren't there. What do you want me to do? Isn't one killing enough? My husband's dead, isn't he? My husband tried to stand up to Sam Bryant and they killed him. And if I try to stand up to them, they'll kill me. Is that what you want? No, of course not. And it won't happen. Uh, suppose my sons and I promise to protect you. Would you testify then? Can you promise to protect all of Virginia City? And the judge? Can you promise to keep Perkins in, in jail, that he won't go free or break out and come after us? All right, Mrs. Cameron. Let's just say that you're... Uh, Husband died for nothing. Ben, wait. Please, help me. Now, Judge Scribner will be in town for a few more hours only. He says he'll hold a trial if he can have witnesses. Will you come for me, Ben? You can depend on that, Mrs. Cameron. All right, if you're so smart, you do it. Come on, take him. Come on, you take him. Come on, take him. Come on, take him. OK, go. Come on now. Come on now, Ben. Come on, Ben. Come on, now, take him. Well, you just run out of luck. 
Oh. Oh, 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 go on, farmer, you can take him. Come on, Come on now. Come on, go get him. Come on, Come on, farmer. Come on, take him. All right, boys, leave them right where they are. Now, you wouldn't want to spoil all the fun, would you, boys? The trial's going to resume at 1 o'clock. Trial? Again? <laughs> that judge sure was a glutton for punishment, ain't the boys? <laughs> yeah, well, what, what trial are you talking about? That trial's over. It's all right, boys. Don't get excited. We're going to have a repeat performance. Come on down to the courthouse with me. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, it, Farmer. Yeah, yeah. We're, We're all with you, boys. We're with you, Farmer. Take care now. Will you answer the question, please, Mrs. Cameron? Farmer Perkins threatened to wreck our store unless my husband paid him for for what he called pr protection. My husband said he'd never back down. Farmer Perkins drew his gun and shot my husband. Thank you, Mrs. Cameron. The defendant will please rise. Since you waive trial by jury, it becomes my sworn duty to pass sentence on you. I hereby find you guilty of murder as charged. Mr. Perkins, I sentence you to hang by the neck until dead. The execution is to take place in the yard of the town jail tomorrow at dawn. This case is closed. You hold the top cars temporarily. Not for long. I promise you, Cartwright, you'll never live to see the day that Farmer Perkins hangs. I've never seen a jail cell before. Well, this isn't a cell, Mrs. Cameron. This is a sheriff's room. Do I have to spend the night here? Yeah, I'm afraid so, ma'am. See, we haven't got enough men to watch your house, and Pa thought you'd be a lot safer in protective custody. What are they doing? Can't have a hanging without a gallows, ma'am. Killings and beatings and now a hanging. Won't we ever have a decent town to live in? That's what we're trying to get, Mrs. Cameron. You have to believe that. Well, Judge, all I can say is that the example you set us today was a very necessary one. And I can assure you that by the time you get back here next month, things will be a lot more peaceful around here. Oh, thank you very much, Ben. Please don't wait around. The stage will be leaving in a few minutes. Oh. Uh, Your boys will be needing you at the jail. As a matter of fact, Judge, those boys can get along without me very well. Although I wouldn't want them to know that. <laughs> but we are a bit short-handed. Good night, sir. Good night, Ben. And good luck. Yeah.
Tie his hands. Keep an eye on him. Norton, take a couple of the boys and circulate around out there. Let me know if you hear anything. Right, Sam. That's all, boys. Game's over. Got some writing to do. Gallus is going to be ready on time. What time is dawn? Five o'clock, a little before five. But I've got the hanging set for five o'clock sharp. We won't keep the farmer waiting. What is it, Sheriff? What's the matter? Hey, Sheriff, where's your hurry? You running for re-election? <laughs> where's your dad? What's keeping him? He ought to have been here a half hour ago. I know, I'm getting worried about him. The judge has probably trapped him into some long winded discussion of the law or something. No, not tonight. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure this was no crazy man's idea of a joke. Read that. Hang Farmer Perkins and we hang Ben Cartwright. Set Farmer Perkins free, give him a horse and a half hour head start, and we'll send Cartwright back to you. <laughs> Shut up, Perkins. You'll still hang. Or will he? I don't want to rub it in, but you boys got us into this. Now, if you've got any suggestions for getting us out... Have you? Just this. Before you three go off half-cock, let me give you a little advice. There's only one sensible way to get out of this mess. What's that? Let Farmer Perkins go. We don't see it your way, Sheriff. Shall we out? All right. You boys think you're a match for old Sam Bryant? One of the toughest, smartest gunmen that ever shot up a mining camp? Him and his men outnumber us five to one. He's got this whole town in his grip that's so scared of him. Has he got you scared too, Sheriff? I got just one life, Joe. It's against my principles to bet it wildly. Now, if you boys want to play games with your father's life as the prize, you got the authority. Now, let's see if you can come up with a practical plan. We got six hours. We ought to be able to come up with something. Like what? Like a search. Search every house till we find Pa. How do you know he's in town? Maybe they've got him hid in a mine or someplace. Besides, we got neither the time or the men for a search. Sheriff, let me ask you something. What would happen if we went right ahead with the preparation for the hanging just like nothing happened? Then they never would know whether we got that message or not. They'd just send another messenger. That's right. And we'd be waiting for him. And we'd jump him? No. We'd follow him. We'd follow him right to where they're holding our paw. Now, that's the first good suggestion I've heard tonight. Adam? You stay here. I'll take the boys, stake them out so we can keep an eye on anybody that might come around. Let's go. Howdy, Doc. There's some of us you can count on, Sheriff. We're spotted around watching the jail in case Sam Bryant and his men try to rush it. Well, that's not Sam Bryant's way of thinking. But I'm much obliged to you anyway, Doc. All right. Hey, Doc. Yes? We're expecting a caller. Don't stop him. Just keep out of sight. We'll do that. Thank you. Hoss, over there by those stairs. Joe, get back here in the alley. Right. Keep your eyes sharp.
Let's go. I'm still the sheriff here. We sure needed that one alive. No, there's nothing I can do. I don't know if I wanted to stay alive myself. Let's see what we can do for the show. Joey's hit pretty bad. You go get the doc now. Get him over to his house. Right. What's happening? What was that shooting going on out there? How should I know? Can't see a thing from here. It was Alan. They shot him down. He got the sheriff. How far away? They didn't see you come here? No, uh, they didn't see me. Sam. Why don't we give it up? They got guns guarding that jail. I'm giving up nothing. I'm getting Farmer Perkins out of that jail. And I'll still be running this town. I like the way you talk, Sam. I'm with you. You can count on me. Good boy. Makes it. The doctor's doing everything he can for him, Adam. Besides, it's our Paul we ought to be worried about. Well, we've already tried one scheme, and all we did was kill a messenger that might have led us back to him. If you talk like we might as well give up. What are you figuring on doing? Just sitting there? Well, now, if you've got any ideas, I'd like to hear them. Well, I'm with the horse. We gotta do something. Well, just exactly what? Well, we could at least go around to the saloons and see if we couldn't pick up something. Look, Sam Bryant's got his spies all over the place. You'll only pick up what he wants you to pick up. You sure think he's smart, don't you? Yes, I do, because he is. I'm beginning to feel the key lies in Brian's mind. What do you mean? A couple hours ago, when the sheriff was all set to let Farmer Perkins go, you were both against it. Now, do you still hold to that? Well, Adam, it was a couple hours ago. We still thought we could find Paul by, by dawn. And now you're not so sure. Well, you're not making it any easier the way you're going about it. Look, all I asked was if you're still intent on hanging Farmer Perkins. I don't know. I don't want to stand here and play question and answer games. They got my father out there and they threatened to kill him. Maybe you forgot that, brother, but I haven't. Joe, 
I feel the same way about it you do. I done told you that. But Paul sure wouldn't want us all fighting among ourselves. All right, then let him start making sense. Well, if you give me a chance, maybe I will. Now, look at it this way. What would Bryant do if, say, come dawn, we simply went ahead and hung Farmer Perkins? Regardless of what Sam Bryant said he'd do to our pa. Regardless. Now, what would you do if you were wrong, Adam? Would you go out to my father's grave and say, I'm sorry, Pa, I made a big mistake? Joe, he's my father, too. Adam, I sure hope you're right in your thinking. Because I don't like the sound of it any more than Joe does. Look, if we let Farmer Perkins go, then Sam Bryan has proved that you can get away with murder in this town. And he'll have no qualms about going ahead and hanging Pa anyway. You still haven't told me how we're going to get Pa away from him. On the other hand, we go ahead and hang Farmer Perkins and we show that we punish murderers. And Sam Bryan will see that his only chance is to let Pa go. Oh, come on, Adam. First you stand there and tell me how smart you think Sam Bryan is, then you say he's going to back down. He's never been afraid of the law in this town. No, but he's never been charged with murder either. And once Sam Bryan knows that he's facing a murder charge, I figure he'll be smart enough to back down. That's why we got to go ahead and hang Farmer Perkins. I'm sorry, Adam. I can't go along with it. It's too big a gamble. Adam, you go right ahead thinking like that if, if you want to. But you're going to have to do it alone. We're going to go find Paul. Come on, Joe. Try it one more time. Only shorten the rope a bit. That farmer's a tall one. Don't want his feet to touch bottom. Old Comstock staying up for the hanging. Yeah, there's no lack of people. Not one single lead on Pa. Yeah. Come on, little Joe. We still got lots of looking to do. What you looking at? I just wanted to see exactly what kind of a life I'm putting in the balance with my father's. Before you let me go, huh? What makes you think I'll let you go? You don't worry me none. Brown will get me out of here. He's smart. And besides, what kind of son would swap his own pa's life for mine? You got 90 minutes left. You want to talk to a preacher? <laughs> What's so funny? I killed a preacher once. Back in Kansas, I think it was. What for? For preaching at me. sons. Tell them I'm running out of patience. Right off. Tell them to let Farmer Perkins go. In one hour, the father will be wearing a new necktie. my sons to make their own decisions.
say. Time's run out for looking anymore. And yeah, they've got him out there somewhere. Yeah, if we just knew where. But even if we knew, three of us against ten or more of them. It's a risk I'd be willing to take, Adam, for what we got at stake. All right, so would I. But in a wild gunfight, who'd be sure and get killed? One of Bryant's men would take it out on Pa first. Come on in here. Where are you going? Guild Saloon. I'm going to announce exactly where I stand so it'll be sure and get back to Bryant. Well, if you can convince that bunch over there, you can convince me. Well, just remember, a lot of Bryant's men will be there to stir the mob up against me. Lock the door after us. You better hurry back. The hanging's at five. <laughs> Bring card right over here. Sorry we couldn't build you a fancy gallows like the town would have said to make do. Get up on the table. Ain't you gonna wait to see if they hang the farmer? Sure. Just wanna see if the noose is high enough. What's the matter with you, Norton? Something bothering you? No. Nothing. I'll hang him. I like doing it. Uh, whether they hang my friend Farmer Perkins or not, I'll enjoy it. <laughs> Perfect fit. Godfrey, you never looked so good to me. Get down. Now, I want Sam Bryant and all of you to understand the following. From now on, all murders will be hanged in Virginia City. <laughs> and the first hanging to take place will be that of Farmer Perkins this morning at 5 a.m. is scheduled. <laughs> And any future murderers will also be hanged. And if Sam Bryant wants to escape hanging, he'll let my father go. I know Bryant, kid, better than you do. He don't fool around. You're signing your pa's own death warrant. It's that badge, that stinking badge that's going on. Yeah. Is it the badge? Is it the law, the principle? It's only part of it. Well, that's the way Pa would think. And it's all a matter of, of your thinking that you know Brian's mind. That you can out-bluff him in this little poker game you're playing. Yeah, I guess it comes down to that. But Adam, it's Pa's life you're gambling with. What if you lose? Don't you think I thought of that? Cartwright, his son Adams, now acting sheriff, says he's going to go ahead and hang Farmer Perkins regardless. And then leaving it up to me whether or not you swing. Good. Good for him. He's bluffing. You think so? You know how stubborn we Cartwrights can be, if we want to be. Yeah, stubborn, but not stupid. Still time to write him a note. Bring him to his senses. Why? He's doing exactly what I'd do. And hang. Then you'll hang. Because that'll be the last straw this town would need to bring it to its senses. Tell me, Bryant, how do you think it'll feel to hang? In about 30 minutes, you're going to find out, Cartwright. Remember, that's my rope over there. 
30 minutes. I'm getting out of here, Sam. Norton! You make another move toward that door, I'll kill you. No, you won't, Sam. You ain't got the guts to do your own killing. And don't you do it for him, McNeil. One shot, and that'll bring a crowd running in here. And you'll be the one that's gonna hang for killing me, not him. No, I stick by Sam, and he sticks by me. He's sticking by the farmer, ain't he? Well, he ain't gonna let the farmer hang, is he? I don't know, McNeil. Why don't you wait and see? And when you find out, you come and let me know. I'll be around. Haas and little Joe? They're outside watching things. Adam, I know what it's like to lose someone. Do you? And to know that you're the cause of it? Adam, Ben Cartwright's worth 10,000 Farmer Perkins. There's still time. Let Perkins go. Get up. Put the noose around his neck. All right, get down. You know, down the corner, you can see the jail from there. Now, when they turn Perkins loose, come on back here and let me know. What difference does it make? We're going to hang Cartwright anyway, ain't we? Just get down there and let me know. Okay, I just want to be in on the fun, that's all. You know, there wasn't any need to send the boy. Because. They'll hang Perkins, all right. And after they do, they'll be coming here for you. Let him come. They've been after me before. They haven't got a thing they can prove against me. They will have, after you hang me. Shut up, Cartwright. Shut up, or I'll yank this table out from under you right now. So funny. Old Ben Cartwright. I bet he ain't so high minded with a rope around his neck. <laughs> Men. What'd you do with my pa? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> it's five o'clock. You hung him. You hung the farmer. We told you we was going to the boy. 
stable hanging on the end of a rope. You thought you'd back Sam Bryant down where you go down there and see. Oh, no, no, no. Go on the stable. Listen to me, all of you. Look, I brought Ben Cartwright back. I didn't do nothing. Now, look, I'm giving him back his girl. You done right hanging Farmer Perkins. You turn yellow. You let the farmer down. You're just like Norton said you was. You let other people do your killing for you. Feel all right, Bob? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Fine. You know something? You boys look awful good to me. <laughs> 